Good morning from Canyon Ferry. Um, I'm Rick Dancer. And I just listen to a podcast and I want people to understand those who are in supportive of tyranny and are against freedom of speech are the minority. They really are. You would not believe the emails I get, the messages I get privately, um, people saying thank you for standing up. Um, they're they're out just outnumber all the criticism I get from anyone. I'm listening to Jordan Peterson and a, a guy who wrote a book about cancel culture, and they're both talking about how tyranny is the minority, and and they make it so that we're afraid or we're supposed to be afraid to stand up and tell the truth of what we believe. Bullshit on that. I think raise your hand if you're somebody who is tired of this and just wants to be able to speak their opinion without somebody coming in and canceling them. The cancel people are immature. They're usually n narcissistic, uh, neurotic, arrogant, and ego-driven. Um, and they wanna control the conversation with our feelings. The rest of us have this other thing we call our conscious and our brain and moral fabric and we want to balance it out with our feelings so that we're not basing everything on just how it affects me. Um, so I'm here to tell you, I, cancel culture is dead. It's going to die. The rest of us are going to pick this up. We're going to stand up for it. But you can't just rely on a few people to do it for you. I mean, you have to take, the, you have to take a stand. And just it doesn't mean you have to go online and tell everybody what you think but you do have to stand up and support the things that you believe because otherwise they're just going to walk all over people. And I'm done. I'm done with people telling me what I have to think. I'm done with, I had a dating site. Uh, some lady told me this week where women were just trashing me, um, you know, for my beliefs on this dating site, which fortunately I married and to a really hot woman. So I don't give a shit what a bunch of women think about me on some dating site where they're, <laughs> looking for love and it's obvious why they have to go to a dating site to look for love I guess um, but we got to start calling it out and saying uh uh no more no more cancel culture go to hell you don't have anything on me you can't do anything to me you can try to ruin my reputation I've already got all kinds of shit written all over Google and everything about me but guess what the people who know me and me most importantly I know my heart and I know that the truth is important and that the truth sets you free. And the lies and the canceling you're doing, guess what? It just imprisons you more. So you're not going to get out. Thank you very much.